I talk to people about Art McNally, and what was his great attributes? It's integrity, honesty, but even-handedness. If, 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 he, if he told you this is holding, and, and you had to play four weeks later, it's still holding it. He didn't give one answer to this coach and another answer to that coach. But, but that, that calmness was part of his quality. When Art spoke, it was like the Oracle of Delphi spoke, speaking. Because, because he, he never said anything that was flip. He never, everything that he said was based on reviewing game film and reviewing the performance of the men on the field and reviewing and knowing the rule book. Beyond that, I think there were a couple of things that made Art unique. In some ways, it was the time and place. It was after the merger in 1970. He came in in 68. But more important, it was, it was the explosion of television beginning in the 70s with three networks finally covering the league, NBC, CBS, and Monday Night Football starting in 1970. But the television technology exploded in the 70s. And, and, and there was scrutiny of the officiating like never before with all that television coverage with the new, with the new, tech to, new technology. So, so the expectations and the, and the critiques of officiating became more and more important. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. I think it will be a good afternoon. Pleasure to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you. Great to see you. Oh my God, Mr. Very special <laughs> surprise. He's Arthur. Yes. Arthur. Someone's here to see you. Oh, how are you? How are you? I'm great. How are you? You looking? You looking good? So. Well, they they got me here. To, do something very special for me and you. Really? Yep, you're being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding, you deserve it. Oh, wonderful. And it's my honor to be here to tell you the news. You always gave me good news over the years, having to do with the game, and you were so much a part of the game. But it's, it's Thank a you. pleasure and a privilege to tell you that you're in the Hall of Fame. The league was richer for your service over, what, 40 years, at least 30 years, and the Hall of Fame will be richer for you to be there for your, the rest of the Hall of Fame's history. That's a shock. Thank Sh you. Great time. It shouldn't be a shock. I know, I know it is, it was a shock to me too, but when I got in, but you getting in is something that's so well deserved. You know, I talked to men all over the league from Jim Tunney to Mike Pereira to oh. people like that, and you have they, you have their respect in ways that very few people have respect. Thank you very much. Very kind. Someone asked me, "Are you going to be excited?" I said, "Art, one of Art's great qualities. He never got excited. He, he, he was always the calmest guy in the room, and, 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 and the best prepared guy in the room was Art McNally." Thank you, you kind. I'm not only kind. I, I had a phone conversation last night with Ann Roselle. And she said her father would be thrilled. Wonderful. Thank you. He, he, was, he was not afraid to talk to anybody about officiating. And he would tell you that's not the rule. It was flat out. It, you're right. You may not agree with it. You may disagree with it. it. may be in your mind wrong and not fair, but that's the rule. So, I mean, he had that thing with John Madden one time. John Madden was yelling at him, and he said, I want to see it in the rule book. Art said, the rule book's right here, John. It's right here. My son loves that story. His grandson loves that story. And Art was dead serious. I know the rule. You know from his generation, right, Vince Lombardi was the guy, right? Like, he tells a story that I'm paraphrasing all these stories that I've heard through the years. You know, when he left the field, you know, Lombardi came in the locker room where the officials were, grabbed him, and said, Art, we're losing a good one, but I know you'll do a great job up there. That was some the best thing anybody ever said to him. He's like, I was so, it, I knew I'd made it. You know, I'm paraphrasing for him, but you know, because Lombardi was the guy then, right? He kind of ran the NFL from what I've heard and seen in, you know, TV and stuff. And that kind of thing for him was he didn't need some, he didn't need the press. He didn't want the press. He would deal with it. He wasn't a rock star. He was just, he did his job. He was an official. 1943, 1944, World War II, you know, everything was going down then. 
the Marines, that's he was part of the Marines, wanted to have a football game. So yes, they did play football in 1943. So the guys were all talking, saying, all right, we've split up teams, we need someone to, to ref us. Who do we get? One of the other guys goes, hey, let's get Art. He's honest. And that's how he got started. That was his story from the beginning. Hey, I just, I just was a straight shooter. That's all he used to say. How many people do you know in life who get honored because of honesty and integrity? Yeah. And that, that was Art. And I talked That's to people. Tall. I said, That's give me give me two words about Art McNally. It's not that he was funny. It's not that he was hardworking. It was that he was honest and the, and the integrity. Yeah. And therefore, everybody respected what he said, whether it was the, fit, the officials or the coaches or the owners or the commissioner. Mm -hmm. He'd come in to see me and I'd ask him, a lot of people are saying X or Y. He said, well, they're right. If they were right, he would say they're right. Mm -hmm. If they were wrong, wrong, he would explain why they were wrong. But he never got excited. He always was well prepared and had an amazing experience, but so thoughtful with that honesty and the integrity was what stands out with everybody. Welcome to the Pro Football <laughs> Hall of Fame. Thank we are you. so proud to have you as a member of our class of 2022. Thank you. Wow.